What is up guys, JGP Cardistry here. Hopefully y'all guys had an awesome new year. I know I did. It's sad to say, but I did get corona. Anybody that stayed in, it's a new year. Let's get new opportunities in. Today we have another review. This is The Ponderings by Alex Chin and Seasons Playing Cards. This deck alone is just so beautiful out of all of them that he has released. Seasons Playing Cards is such a good company, guys. I am just now getting introduced to them. I do have a few decks of them. Alex Chin is a very talented artist. These decks are just so awesome. They scream quality. If you're a collector, if you're a person that just collects playing cards, doesn't even shuffle or do cardistry, I honestly recommend these. So let's get right into the review, guys. So as you can see, first off, the front of the box, you have Seasons Playing Cards, Purified Primavera, Ponderings, the apothecacy of seasons playing cards and you have that beautiful beautiful scroll work going all around the box so you do have a symbol on each side of the box each box has a different symbol but i mean every single little detail on each box is like well thought out it's just so beautiful on the bottom you have the seasons logo so as you can see you have this beautiful scroll work going even on the tongue of the box the top of the top box all around i mean it's just such a beautiful box honestly guys in person this thing looks so awesome it's embossed all around you can feel all of this scroll work so now let's get into the cards so the first thing you see is the Joker. You have this cool little vase. It's very, very well detailed. I don't know if you can see that well on the camera, but I will do a close up on that as well. It's, I guess it's like a little clay pot. Uh, and I believe there's two of them. So you have two Jokers right there. Uh, very, very well detailed. I mean, they look so 3D, you know? So the next card you have is the Ace of Spades. As you can see, very simple Ace of Spades. You normally have a very well detailed Ace of Spades. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't have a crazy Ace of Spades. Uh, very standard, you know, index cards, nothing too fancy. The pips are a little bit raised from the top, so they are a little pointy. So you have that little pointiness to them, and they are very, very small. For the court cards, you have the Jack of Spades, Queen of Spades. Very well detailed cards, by the way. Very well detailed. Ace of Diamonds, two diamonds. The diamonds as well, they are pointy from the bottom. So you do have that point on the bottom. And they are like a darker red. They're not a really bright red as they normally are. You have the Jack of Diamonds, very well detailed on the hair. The core cards are just wow. And I know one of them said that it looked like Chuck Norris. Oh, look at that. I'm very, very surprised that the Ace of Clubs is actually more detailed than the Ace of Spades. So then you have the King of Heart, the Queen of Heart. I know one of them, they said it looks like Chuck Norris. There it is. So everything's pretty standard. Nothing too different. And of course you got the Ace of Heart. So I do have other decks. I will do reviews on other ones. But uh, overall, the cards are very nice. I will do a close-up on these cards. That way y'all can see what I mean by the detail of them. Let's get right into the close-up of the card. So this is what I mean by how detailed these cards are. I mean, look at that. You got the Ace of Spades, the Jack of Spades. The Queen of Spades, I mean, look at all the detail on the clothes. It's just so sick. I'm definitely gonna have to buy another deck of these. You got Chuck Norris right there. The Ace of Clubs, all well detailed. Instead of this one, I wish the Ace of Spades would have been detailed. You got the King of Hearts. And then of course the backs. This, this is something I'll definitely get tattooed or something. These are just too sick. Like, Comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite. They have so many that I can't even choose, but this one's probably one of them. Has to be one of them for sure. So as y'all saw, the detail on these cards are just so sick. I mean, I'm honestly thinking about getting another deck. This deck is too sick. And even the other ones that I have in my collection. So I am gonna shuffle with these. That way y'all could see what they feel like. The stock is very good. You know, it's got really good. Solid stock. But yeah, let's get right into the flourishes, guys.
so that is it for today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed these cards are honestly from scale to 1 to 10 i give these a good 9 the shuffling is awesome on them the handling is awesome don't know what finish they use on these cards but they spread nice they fan nice and as you can tell the backs of them are amazing color is just so beautiful as you can see you got that rose gold in the middle and some green outside it's just a beautiful beautiful design and i really don't know what it really is honestly i can't really put my finger on it but the design overall makes the cards look beautiful when you spread them when you flourish them and you know of course when you do magic you know it's just a fancy way to present yourself but yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed if you don't mind hit that subscribe button you know i would really appreciate it guys i love collecting playing cards and if you are watching my videos i just hope that y'all feel the love that i have for the playing cards uh, i want to give y'all every single detail of the cards that i can every video these videos are pretty awesome to do i love doing it i would really appreciate if y'all subscribe or hit the like hit the like button you know please i, I would really highly appreciate it jgp cardistry we are out peace